Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, who is here for the Simon and Garfunkel Losers Lounge? Thank you very much. Jack and I played a young Paul Simon and a middle-aged Art Garfunkel there, to your delight. And we're here to bring you some more of that magic. Back then, Jack was only in middle school, now he's graduated to high school. And he's always looked upon me as sort of a rock and roll mentor. As well he should, because I have a lot of experience as a mid to low level rock star. And I've explained to Jack that being a male rock star has very little to do with talent or preparation. It's more about, more about style. And as such, the first thing, the first bit of homework that I gave him, as I said, you need, correct me if I'm wrong ladies and gentlemen, to be a male rock star, you need to name your penis. Right? So, for example, Julian's penis is, is named Gibson. Eddie's is uh, One World Trade Center, is that correct? Joe Bosendorfer. I've given my own the, uh, the more sort of exotic name, Chiquitita, which, if you speak Spanish, you know means beautiful banana. Perhaps cute banana. Okay, small banana. So I hope you've done your homework, and you've listened to your mentor. What have you come up with? You know, uh, mentor... Uh, <laughs> yes, but that's not that. <laughs> what, you, what you should be advising me okay. is that when a man comes up to me, a man in a kimono, comes up to me and asks me about my penis, I shouldn't respond. <laughs> but, but if you must know, John, if you must know, it is named El Chorizo. <laughs> on your way, kid. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've done a lot of uh, research for this next song, and I found an authentic Swedish version.